Ricky Fowler and Rory McIlroy used to be compared to each other all the time. They're five months apart, they came up around the same time, and Ricky's first PGA Tour win came in a playoff over Rory McIlroy. Back in January 2016, Rory was number three in the world, Ricky was number four in the world, and the two of them were gonna battle it out for the rest of their careers. But their careers have gone in opposite directions since. Rory's hung up there, been in the top five players in the world basically the whole time. Ricky's dropped considerably. Until recently, that is. Ricky is on the rise and Rory's on a rough patch. We'll start with Fowler. Now, Ricky hasn't really contended to win a tournament yet this year, but he's been extremely consistent. His T14 at last week's Wells Fargo was his eighth top 20 finish in his last nine starts on the PGA Tour. And so Ricky is back inside the top 50 of the world rankings for the first time in two and a half years. And that's an important number because being in the top 50, it's like a golden ticket. You get into all the major championships. And Ricky really hasn't played that many majors recently. He played just one last year. He played two in 2021 and he's missed the last three masters. 